Hi, I'm Colin. I'm running for Hi. governor. I just wanted to introduce myself. Great. Good morning. Are you from Executive Dairy? Councilor Colin yes. Van Ostern right. making the rounds Colin. at Marion's oh. Diner yes. and Dairy. You? Acknowledging his too. first run for statewide I'm office has its challenges. My name's Colin Van Ostern. Okay. So. Well, I'm running against a guy named Chris Sununu, whose name is a lot better known. It's cool. nice to meet you. You're running for governor. I am. Against I am Colin. Mr. Against Mr. Sunu. You got it. His name is a lot better known than mine yeah, is. So. The 37-year-old Democrat connecting with voters, people, talking about right jobs now. in the Granite Are State, and sharing his background. Well, I'm running because I want to make sure for my kids and all our kids that we keep this a great place to live and raise a family and grow a business. And I used to work down the road here at Stonyfield Yogurt, which is a great local employer. And... Um, and then at Southern New Hampshire University, which also has been growing a lot and hiring a lot of people. And I want to make sure we create good jobs, keep taxes low. Ten years ago, Stonyfield had the biggest solar array in the state of New Hampshire on the roof of the yogurt plant. And now the biggest one is 20 times bigger than that. And it's a good way. You can actually create good jobs and lower energy costs and protect the environment all at the same time. Van Ostern pointing out some of what's happened in his four years on the executive council. One of the things we worked on a lot was extending Medicaid health care coverage to more people over the last couple of years. There are now 50,000 people who have access to coverage, including like drug addiction treatment services that we should have been doing a few years ago and, and hadn't. Van Ostern claiming he'll be a governor for all the people, fielding lots of comments about the presidential race. But in 2016, I feel pretty comfortable with my party, let's put it you that way. <laughs> Well, thank you for your thank you for your vote and thank you for your support. I appreciate it. In Derry, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.